Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, guys, we'll be disassembling this Acer laptop. And this model is the Acer Aspire E15. All right. And the exact model number is E5 576 392H. Do not worry. As long as it's the Acer Aspire, this will still apply. All right. So, straight away, what we're going to do is make sure that your laptop is off. Make sure it's plugged out. Once you do that, you're going to flip over. And once you are flipped over, in case you need to um, so as you can see here in terms of disassembly we'll cover stuff such as in case you want to change the memory and also if you want to change the hard drive inside let's go first to the hard drive and the quick access stuff now as you see here this is a quick access arch so what we're going to do is going to open this section um, based on what i'm seeing here most likely we're going to find the memory and so on in this section all right first one is remove these screws so let's go ahead and um, loosen these Once you loosen them, just make sure that they are out completely and simply remove these screws. Alright, keep them within reach. Once you do that, just go ahead and from this side here to this notch, just simply uh, remove. There you go. And as you can see here with this particular model, which is always great design when you see a company do this, they actually made the R drive be on this side right here. So you can easily access everything. All right. So right away here, what we're going to do is, as you can see, you could just easily remove the memories or you could just go to the hard drive. Let's start with the hard drive itself. To remove the hard drive, you notice you have this plastic mechanism here. So again, you need to just check the connection to remove the hard drive. Make sure it's not screwed in place. All right. So um, for the hard drive, which is one of the main things we tend to change. It's um, set into place. So again, just go ahead and remove this particular screw right here. All right, so we're gonna remove this key screw. All right, let's remove that screw right there. Next, we're gonna slide the R drive back and just simply slide back in this cradle. Notice how it uh, moves back. And then once it slides back, you should be able to um, go up or you should be able to pry it up from here. Just be careful, do not force anything. There should be um, the access arch somewhere around here. All right, so once you slide back, notice the separation. You're gonna carefully use this plastic and pull up. Just pull firmly, there you go. It will come out and this is the hard drive itself notice that the hard drive is affixed inside of this bay right here and the bay itself is just a housing and it's just screwed to the sides so simply either place it back in or of course if you're going to change this um, hard drive such as doing a um, hard drive upgrade what i suggest that you do is that for the hard drive upgrade you screw these off and then for the new R drive, simply place these on the new R drive and then you're gonna place this back in. The same would apply to a SSD. The SSD will look slightly different as it's a mechanical R drive, but of course for the SSD, you would basically place it back inside of its cradle. Once it's inside of its cradle and screwed back in. And of course, remember that if you change your R drive, you'll have to reinstall Windows or there'll be no Windows operating system on this. To place it back in, simply find the groove over here, careful, this is mechanical, you don't want to drop it or anything, and just simply from one side in first and slide down into its cradle, make sure it's sitting flush. Once it's sitting flush and um, you can slide, simply just go ahead and slide it back into the upper section of the cradle. Notice the gap is being closed, simply slide. And once you do that, what's happening here, if you notice right here, you'll see that it's sliding back and forth and what you want to do from here is just replace our screws, including this particular screw here, just simply put it back into place. You're going to screw it in. Right? And of course, you'll notice other mechanisms in here, including the speaker, which can be changed. Also, the memory, if you're going to change memory or clean the memory. It's as simple as simply just coming over here using um, something like your fingers. And you're going to pluck both sides. 
all right and once you plug both sides the memory will uh, pop up you're simply going to remove it's as simple as cleaning these slots in case you're having um, beeps or errors i suggest you do is that you blow these slots you simply blow or if you have um, another mechanism for getting out the dust like a brush or so on clean these memories or if it's their body you can um, change them and place them back to place them back simply slide them into the slot don't worry it's almost foolproof simply suck it in then snap it down make sure both sides are in flush there you go notice it's, it pops back in and of course it will be set into place to um, get everything back up all right so once everything is back in um, in terms of memory and so on in terms of hard drive simply get the back then once you get the back simply <coughs> go once again and what you're going to do here is that you're going to snap this back into place it should go back right in snap everything in they should snap in snug there's a section that's not going in properly such as a um, section there just look out for the clip or so on and just press with um, a decent amount of force and of course as you see here the slide back in your arm um, screws and then what you're going to do next is simply screw these back in quite easy don't over tighten i like to use a manual screwdriver as it gives me a better feel there you go that one is in and of course the other one should go in quite nicely so there you go that one is in as well all right so that's it and of course make sure you check your work make sure everything is nice and clean everything is reassembled is reassembled of course you want to go ahead and do your power test so just power back on the laptop make sure everything is powered up um, in case of hard drive changes just go ahead and reinstall windows all right so that has been how to change the about the memory or disassemble to change the memory on the acer aspire e15 and of course that was for the R drive change to ssd or regular R drive and of course the memory all right guys we're kind of going from block tech tips and bye until next time bye